Hello, my friend. If you're learning Russian and want to go to Russia, this video is for you. Today we will talk about Russian names. They may seem very simple, but they are not. Usually one Russian name can have many variations. Hi! Господи, зачем так пугать? Oh, sorry, I'm so sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, hi. I'm a new student. My name is Julia and what's your name? My name is Alexandra. Alexandra or you can call me Alexa. Alexa or you can call me Ale. Or you can call me Sasha. Or you can call me Lexi, or you can call me Sandra, or you can call me Shura, or you can call me Sara. Usually a long Russian name has many abbreviations. For example, Alexandra is reduced to Alexa or Ale. But besides simple abbreviations, the name can transform and change its shape. How does this happen? Alexandra, Alexasha, simple Sasha, Sashura, Shura. Okay, uh, Sara, and who is this? Hmm? Oh, it's Jora. Is he a raccoon? It's just a mask, you know, quarantine. And his name is Jora? Yes, but you can call him Gosha. What? Why? It's two different names! No, just a simple Russian name. Simple. Some people also call him Yegor or Boga. So simple, it's simple. Jor, забери это, я не могу ходить с этой кучей бумаги, я и так цвета. Usually people don't care what variation of the name you call him. But there are people from whom this is very important. Sometimes people do not accept variation of their name and get very angry if they are called something else. Я Малфой. Драко Малфой. Тебя имя рассмешило? О, Дима! Че? О, Санёк! А это кто? Знакомься, это Джули. Джули? Нет, это Дима. He also be called Митя. Hello, oh, nice to meet you. Я чё-то не понял, ты меня Митя не зола? Ну да, что? Я Дима. Это ведь одно и то же имя. Не зови меня Митя, я Дима, ты поняла? Я Дима, хватит звать меня Митя! Хорошо, Дима. На, возьми, отнеси, пожалуйста, учителю. Че это? Спасибо. Пока, Митя. Бай, Митя!
Помогите. И пацаны нас спалили.